The TV bed comes in four cartons, weighing approximately 140 to 150 kilograms. The first carton contains the headboard and base slats. The second carton contains the footboard, including the TV. The third carton contains the side rails and centre rail. The fourth carton contains the equipment tray, TV remote control, power cables and assembly instructions. To begin assembly, place the headboard near to its final position. Partially screw the four screws into the fixing holes in the headboard. Align the side rail to the headboard. Ensure the actuating buttons are closer to the headboard than the footboard. These are the aluminium buttons which are either side of the side rails. Connect the footboard in the same way and do likewise with the other side rail. Loosely tighten all screws at this stage. Fix the two adjustable legs to the centre rail using the fixings provided. Drop the assembled centre rail into the head and footboard fixing points. As the feet should not be in direct contact with the floor, it is very important that once the centre rail is dropped into place, that the feet are adjusted so that they are 5 to 10 millimetres above the floor. Now would be a good time to fully tighten all screws with the Allen key provided. Partially screw the two screws into the fixing holes either end of the equipment tray. Drop the equipment tray into position on the side rail and tighten the screws. The harness contains three HDMI cables which should be placed through the hole in the tray next to the control box. The red lift motor phono lead should be plugged into the socket marked lift motor. The TV has an external TV power supply, which also comes from the footboard harness. The separate male to female power cable should be connected between the mains output on the control box and the input on the TV power supply. Next, connect the female power cable to the mains input on the control box. The plug goes to a power socket and the antenna cable goes to a suitable source. On each side rail, there is a black phono connector which should be connected to the lift button input on the control box. The three HDMI cables are useful for plugging into a Sky or cable box, DVD player, games console or any similar device. Your TV should now be operational. Now would be a good time to test the two side buttons to ensure the lift, TV and side buttons are working. The slats and plastic slat caps now need to be assembled. The smaller caps should be placed onto the ends of the wooden slats and the double-ended caps are placed in the centre rail and snapped into position. This is the finished assembled bed. You are now ready to dress the bed by adding a mattress and bedding.